So here I have blue solar fast dye. I have emptied it into an opaque container so that the surrounding light doesn't expose it. And now I'm going to add some solar fast thickener. The thickener will make, allow me to screen print the uh, will allow me to screen print the dye. It's really important to shake all of these up. They all aren't in solution, so to get them evenly dispersed, you really want to hear that ball shake inside. One cap full. Two cap fulls. A little bit more. This is an entire four ounce bottle that I put in this opaque container. And about two and a half cap fulls. To thicken, uh, you can adjust that depending on what consistency you like to screen print. And I want to shake this up. The more you shake it, the thicker it gets. Uh, you can let it sit a little while too if you want. It'll thicken up a little more. Now it's a good screen printing consistency. This could be a little thin, but I like printing it thin. Um, the coolest thing about screen printing the solar fast is that you get a double exposure. So I'm going to print this brain on this shirt. But I'm also going to be able to put in, once I have that put down, I can put another image on top of that. Um, that's kind of difficult to visualize, so we're just going to do it and you'll see what the result is. Brain printed. I'm going to put this negative of an eyeball over the whole thing. So we should get an eyeball printed on top of a brain. Okay. There we go can really see the brain this time. Now I can put my image, secondary image down on top of it. I'm going to use this Miro painting. The area of the photo that was really dark kept it almost white. And this is the eyeball, so it looks really weird. You get that double image and it's hard to tell exactly what's going on. <laughs> This is the uh, brain printing I did with the Miro painting to be put over top of it. So I'm going to take the glass and the transparency off. Oh wow, yes. this looks really good. So you can get that really cool double exposure look. Um, it's powerful, this is one of the best ways to do this. That's the purple and the violet and That's your brain on the row. Yeah. So in this one I did by hand and I 
put the I put the uh, transparency down and put an outline around it with a pencil. And then I actually filled in the area by hand. It's a lot, it's almost exactly like doing the screen printing process. Um, and this gives you a cool effect. It's like a, it's like a cutout of the person's face. So this is Alfred Hitchcock. Yeah, that's gonna look great. Glass. Oh. Awesome. <laughs> oh, that's cool. The hotter the water, the better it washes. The unreacted dye washes out, and the cleaner your print will be overall.